Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments. This is what a comment from me looks like. Notice that the name is spelled perfectly and notice the border around the name. That's how you know it's from me. You can also click on my name to make sure you actually go to my channel to double check. And this is what a comment from an imposter will look like. It has weird characters in the name or comment and it's usually going to ask you to add them on WhatsApp or Telegram. I don't have WhatsApp or Telegram and I would never ask you to add me on there. All right, so please be careful, use your common sense, and now let's get back to the video. Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here. And guys, Octominer just sent me one of their 12 GPU mining cases. So here's what I wanna do in this video. I wanna do a straight comparison between their 12 GPU mining server case versus one of my you know 12 gpu open airframes and so i want to compare them on power consumption ease of use temperatures as well as price for building them but that's not all we're also going to be doing a massive giveaway in this video together with octominer so we're going to give away two of their 12 gpu mining cases two of their eight gpu mining cases as well as 10 octominer swag bags so stick around for later in this video where I'll explain exactly how you can enter to win one of these prizes. So here it is guys, the Octominer X12 Ultra and actually let me pop the lid off real quick and we'll, we'll see what's in there. Alright, so this is obviously their 12 GPU version and it basically comes with everything you need to get started other than the actual GPUs. So everything you need to do is just get the GPUs, put them in here and you're good to go, you're ready to start mining. So it comes with motherboard, CPU, RAM, SSD that already has HiveOS installed on it. Obviously the 12 PCIe ports already and this is actually like connected to the motherboard. So it's kind of like an extension of the motherboard. It's not like risers. And it also comes with three of these hot swappable 1200 watt platinum rated server power supplies and it comes with all of these eight pin cables that are all cut to length so you can see that these ones they reach all the way here and then you have these short ones that reach perfectly for your first gpu here so that is really neat and it also comes with five of these 140 millimeter fans and these aren't regular like computer fans these are like proper server case fans that get like really high RPM. So definitely am really interested to see what kind of cooling capacity this case has. Oh, and not only that, it also comes with all of these smart features like built-in thermostat and smart fan controller and stuff like that. So yeah, really, really cool stuff. And this is the rig that I wanna compare it to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of the stats of this rig now, you know, like power consumption, hash rate, temperatures and all that. And then I'm gonna take all of these GPUs and I'm gonna put them into the Octominer. And then I'm gonna basically just compare everything like power consumption and hash rate and all of that stuff, temperatures for sure. And basically what I've got going here is all of my LHR GPUs as well as a, well, one, uh, 3070 full hash rate and I have also have a like big like table fan here and let me tell you this table fan is absolutely essential to keeping this rig cool so this whole rig with the table fan right now is pulling just around 2150 watts or so it's moving around a little bit because they are LHR cards after all but let's call it 2160 yeah, and yes, that is including the table fan because it is absolutely essential to keeping the rig cool. And since this rig doesn't have any like case fans on it, I really do think that's a fair comparison. But in the name of science, let's turn the fan off. There we go, that's off. And now let's see what the power consumption for the rig is without the fan. So yeah, I mean like, 10 watts less or something like that, 20 watts less for the fan. So not really that big of a difference, to be honest. And as for hash rates and temperatures and all that, you can see that here we're getting around 685 mega hash. And in the software, it's saying power is about 1945 watts. 
and as you can see the 3090 there is getting upwards of 100 C on the memory temperature. But yeah, that's it. So let's shut this off and move all the GPUs over into the Octominer. Right, so all the cards are in there and we are up and mining. And the hash rate we're getting is basically exactly the same at around 686 mega hash or so. 688 actually, oh that's cool. As for power, we're at around 50 watts less at 2100 or so. All right, so let's wrap up by comparing these two rigs here. So this is the rig we started out with and this of course is the Octominer that all of the graphics cards are now in. So I want to start with comparing power. You already saw me measure it. It was about 50 watts less for using the Octominer than the open air rig. So it is definitely a more efficient rig and I'm assuming that's going to be down to the platinum power supplies and as well as just the overall sort of like motherboard and CPU being less power hungry than these regular like ATX motherboards and you know Intel CPUs and stuff like that and as for temperatures what I saw there was that like the temperatures were pretty much the same for both rigs except for in the Octominer the GPU fans did not have to work as hard to stay you know below the temperatures that I had set for the GPUs so while in my open air rig my 3090 was doing like 100% fan speed at all times with the you know table fan pointed directly at it in the Octominer I think it's doing kind of like 70% fan speed to keep that same temperature so yeah really impressed with the cooling capabilities of the Octominer there as well but maybe not surprised because I mean it has five like high power uh, server case fans so yeah it, it should be good at cooling and it is right <laughs> And in terms of ease of use, I mean, come on, like all you do is just pop the lid open, put your GPUs in, screw the lid back on and you're good to go. No like having to figure out what CPU goes with which motherboard and getting the right RAM and finding risers and having to think about like how to plan your power cords so that you can power both the risers and the GPUs and none of that. It's just, it's just plug and play with the Octominer. So if you want something, where it's just easy and it's all gonna work and you know you're gonna get quality. Like the Octominer is a really good buy in my opinion. Now, of course, there is one thing to say to that, which is if you're the kind of guy that likes, you know, messing with rigs and putting it all together and stuff, then yeah, like an open air rig is, I guess, more fun. But in terms of like, if you wanna deploy like a big mining farm, for example, then definitely the Octominer is the way to go because it's just like you have so much control you put them all in there it works and there's no fiddling around with it and next I want to compare what is the actual price tag of buying and building a rig like this versus like buying a Octominer like this but before I do that let me tell you how you can enter in the giveaway all right so the rules for the giveaway so if you want to enter to be able to win one of these prizes you have to go through just a few little steps here the very first one is that you need to leave a normal positive comment on this video and you need to mention the secret word which is kiwi now the second thing you need to do is you need to go follow Octominer on Twitter and if you don't have a Twitter account well then maybe make a Twitter account so that you can follow Octominer because they're great. And then the third and final step is that in the uh, pinned comment of this video, I'll post a link to a Google form where you need to fill in your YouTube username as well as your Twitter username so that I can, you know, double check there. And then finally, uh, you need to make sure that your YouTube account is at least two months old. And that is for us 
so that we can just eliminate cheaters that will just make multiple accounts to enter more than once so no cheaters please it won't work and we will pick the winners in an upcoming video here on the channel that will be out in well we'll film it in about two weeks from now so maybe two and a half weeks from now you'll see who won and so stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss that All right so i put together a little spreadsheet of what building a open airframe like this would cost you you know versus what the octominer costs you so for an open airframe like this and i'll put the um, the spreadsheet up on the screen for you uh, we're looking at like two 12 packs of gpu risers because this is a 12 gpu rig so apples to apples right you're paying 160 bucks for two six packs of GPU risers. And then to get a big like 12 GPU mining frame, you're looking at around 180 bucks from GPU risers there. And to buy like motherboard, CPU and RAM, uh, the kind of cheapest option I could find was that like generic 12 GPU mining motherboard with the USBs directly on the motherboard. And I found a deal where it comes with both the CPU and RAM and that was for just under $300 and then you're looking at an SSD for like 20 bucks and then to get the same amount of power needed to power this many GPUs like of this caliber so to get like 3600 watts just like what the Octominer comes with uh, the cheapest deal I could find there was at Parallel Miners so going with only server PSUs and of course with the breakout board because you need a breakout board you're looking at $471 for three 1200 watt power supplies there so all in all that comes to like let's let's call it $1100 right to build a frame like this before the GPUs. So let's compare that to what the Octominer costs, which is $809 for this configuration I have right here. So really it's like $300 less. It's better in terms of temperatures and like power efficiency and in terms of ease of use. So really it's, <laughs> it is a really good mining rig to buy guys. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, of course, if you love tinkering with rigs, yeah, it's it's not the best because then you have to be, okay, like do I value, you know, the fun of like messing with my rigs more? Um, and then is that worth the extra $300 or not, right? And there is only one more thing I gotta say too, which is like the minimum order quantity of the Octominers is I think currently five uh, for the X8 uh, miner and 10 for the X12 miner. So of course, this is more aimed towards people looking to set up a sort of small to medium sized farm or I guess big farm as well. Uh, but maybe not for, you know, the one bedroom miner that needs to just buy his first rig, right? But maybe even then you could get together with four of your friends and buy a five pack and you get one each. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it one of these. And if you really liked it, you can now join the channel to help support what I do here. It really does make a big difference and I really do appreciate it. But what you gotta do now is you gotta click on that next video on the screen because this video is over. You can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye, bye.